Great Lakes contain one-fifth of the world's above-ground freshwater supply. It is essential that Michigan preserves these lakes, yet it is estimated that 10.47 billion gallons of water is withdrawn from them every single day. As well as our excessive use of it, point and non-point source pollution is also going to negatively impact the Great Lakes. It is very important for us to try and reduce water use and, poll use and pollution if we would like the precious Great Lakes to continue to be great. 40 out of 50 states in America expect water shortages in the near future. And California, California is already going through drought. To prevent this, there are many ways to optimize our water and put it to good use to prevent it from running out. One important method is to use gray water. Gray water is water from things like fish washing, the hose, or other appliances. Water can then be used to water plants and do other tasks that don't require perfectly clean water. It not only saves water, but it also saves money by lowering your water bill. We have advice for appliance use. If you are looking into buying newer appliances or updating your house, please switch to newer and more water efficient ones. From faucets to shower heads to toilets, there are always newer and more efficient models. For example, simply updating from a conventional toilet to a low flow toilet saves two gallons of water. Appliances like washing machines also have many varieties. Compared to conventional washing machines, a wash, recycle, and front load washer saves up to 11 to 16 gallons of water. Now you have more advanced knowledge on how to reduce water use, what you can do to minimize water pollution, and what causes water pollution. After watching this video, think about the benefits of saving water and think about what you can do to reduce water use and pollution in your area.